Hi, I'm Jennifer Cortese. I'm sitting here with Hugh Moore, who's a sergeant with the NYPD, and he's also the Special Projects Supervisor. On 9-11, I was actually assigned as the highway safety officer for the 17th precinct. Uh, at that time, we had got word that an uh, aircraft had hit the building. We immediately dispatched uh, officers along with a sergeant to respond to the scene. Uh, I was one of the officers who responded at that time. A lot of the emotional components of leadership has not been explored, and that brings us back to 9-11. That brings us back to organizations and opportunities that allow our members to reflect on our event, but also to prepare for future events that might occur. And I think one of the things that Project Rebirth does is that it helps you understand that, yes, we've been through a tragedy, one of the most tragic incidents in the history of our country, but also as Americans, as New Yorkers, uh, we are resilient. Do you think that in the future that you'll be able to take what you've learned and what you're learning right now to other cities for their potential preparedness? We want to be the, the example of what others should be doing. And uh, one of those examples is that this information that we're giving to our members of the department can be used in any police department, can be used in any uh, fire department, or any first responders organization. How receptive do you find your men and women in the department to some of these newer ideas? One of the things, as you know, many police officers are very hardened. Um, the emotional aspect of, uh, of tapping into uh, uh, their psychology is, is, is not often something that challenges that are met. How do we introduce this subject matter in a way that is acceptable and received well by this heart and group of professionals? I think that we've been able to accomplish that, and I think that Project Rebirth has helped us to accomplish that. Do you think it would have been different had this tragedy happened now? A culmination of uh, the response plans that we have, uh, the commonality and language with the uh, with National Incident Management System, with the city incident management system we have here in place in New York City Police Department. Uh, I think combining that, combining that response and, and that practice with the leadership skills, uh, when I say leadership skills, I mean the emotional aspect of being a leader, that they'll be able to carry over into a tragedy. And I think in that sense, they'll be better prepared. How are the younger generation handling everything? Well, that's, I think that's why it's important that we, uh, we really uh, memorialize this in a very respectful fashion, but also we, we uh, introduce a component that allows people to never forget. I think that it's a responsibility of those who, uh, who were involved and those who have the memory in their minds firsthand be able to transmit that to these young officers and let them understand the importance of honoring the victims and the survivors by uh, trying to work our best and our hardest to make sure it doesn't happen again. What's your biggest future goal, if you had your dream list of what you could accomplish? Uh, yeah, I do a lot of work with mentoring and with character development and leadership skills. So if I can get a group of all the, the teenagers in the world and all the young people in the world and give them, let's say, 30 days of leadership and character development courses and then send them out to this world and then bring them back and give it to them again and then give it to them again until they incorporate it into the fabric of their character, that is something that I would, I would, it would be extraordinary for me. So uh, I would say just to give back, give back service. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>